Over the past three years, I've been using the game making software Game Maker Studio, and today I'm going to show you how far I've come and the progress I've made along the way. Three years ago, I decided I would delve into the world of game development as I was at the stage of my life where I had to look into the future rather than look into the past. I recently applied for university in the United Kingdom to do game development and virtual reality and should be starting this course around this time next year. Now for the past three years I've been using GameMaker Studio as a hobby to help build upon my basic understanding of the requirements to be a game developer and also to start learning basic coding. I have thought about using Unity as the software but I decided I'm going to hold off until I go to uni as it's the main software used throughout the whole four year course so I thought it would be smarter to leave it until I go. Now in the past three years I've managed to reach 800 hours in GameMaker Studio and GameMaker Studio 2 and I've also published two games on the Steam Workshop that have received over 800 subscriptions to them which is absolutely awesome. The one thing I have to say about the game making community is it's one of the nicest communities I've ever been in because everyone wants to help you and also help others which is a great characteristic the community has. Now some of the games I've made over the past three years have been very very questionable as when I started using the software I was only 14 years old and was no better than a young teen that just jumped straight into the game development world. But I do have to say to all aspiring new game developers, making bad and unfinished games is never a bad decision as through the process of making that game, you're actually learning new things that you can bring into your future projects and can also build upon the mistakes that you've made in that project. Now after making these games for around one to two years, I finally decided it was time to focus more on one project instead of toying with the idea that I could actually make four projects at once, which is pretty much impossible for anyone that is new to game development. So I decided that I would make one game and one of the huge inspirations for the game that I'm currently making is Dying Light and Diablo. Now of course these are AAA games and I'm using a 2D game engine to program a game but I decided I'd cross over the two genres of uh, the games and make a top down shooting game with zombies as well as a yet to be implemented RNG system. Now if you guys don't understand what that means, it's basically just going to be a game where you can run around and farm zombies to get higher tier loot or weapons or gear that you can use to fight higher bosses. So starting this process was actually very hard as my attention span to focus on one game was very weak compared to how I was when I was actually working on four games as I had the break in between working on these games to think about what I would implement into the next one. So with this being an issue, I decided to take it to Reddit and go into a subreddit where I could look for fellow game developers and I actually stumbled across a fellow game maker dev that lived in America. So I decided to send him a private message and he actually sent me his Discord back and we had a really nice long awkward Discord call and we also exchanged a lot of messages and we decided that we would work together on my game. Now the system we used to be able to make this work is basically what would happen is is that when I went to bed it would be 8 hours behind for him so what I would do is I would send the project files from my game to him that I had recently worked on during the day and when I was sleeping he would actually be working on it and then send it back to me for when I woke up. Now this was an absolutely amazing system as I was currently off school and I had the solid two weeks that me and him were doing this to basically throw the game back and forth and we got so much progress done in the two weeks that I could actually see a test build coming out of the game. Now unfortunately due to personal circumstances he actually had to leave the development of the game which left me again working with my bad attention span on the game by myself. But since then I've been working on the game a little bit slower and I've actually been enjoying it a lot more as I've become a lot more mature and have been able to concentrate on working on the game a lot longer. Now, I do have some big future plans for the game. I have a lot of things that I want to get done as I want to get networking so you can play with other people and your friends and I also want to be able to implement the loot system as well as start working on mapping and art. So the project scope for my game is pretty big but I do hope that I can get there in the end and also if you guys have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in the game feel free to go and leave them down in the comments as I would love to take some on board. Another topic I want to cover is how I actually started developing games because coding to start off with can seem like an absolute alien language to some people so what I did is is I googled exactly how do I make my first game in Game Maker Studio. Now one of the first videos that pops up is actually a tutorial from Heartbeast who is a fellow Game Maker Studio content creator on how to build your first platform game. Now when I saw this I followed it step by step along with a bunch of other tutorials from awesome content creators such as Sean Spaulding and Arm2K Dev and I took all of these kind of ideas from different tutorials and put them together and made my own kind of game. But the best way to learn how to make a game is by watching someone else making the game or also learning through their code and you also learn their habits and other things that you can bring aboard when you're making your future projects. Another great place that you can join is the Game Maker Community Discord which has some 
absolutely amazing people on it who will give you great advice on your code or also give you feedback on your game. The Game Maker subreddit is also a great place to go and post and get feedback as well. Now some tips I have for aspiring game developers out there is that you should always have a notepad either sitting beside you or under your desk so that anytime you think of an idea in the spur of the moment, make sure to write it down so you can look at it later if you want to implement it into your game as I've had a lot of ideas put into my game just because of that decision. Another piece of advice I have is to make sure that you take time away from your project, working on it 12 hours a day non-stop is not the right way to do it. Occasionally taking a two day to one day break can be really beneficial as it gives you time to clear your mind and not constantly worrying about having to add new things into your game or meeting deadlines. Now a great app you can use to keep track of what you have to work on and also what you want to add into your game is Trello. It's basically a service where you can set up your schedule for the week and what you want to achieve by filling it out and saying when it's completed and I know a lot of game developers use it to keep track of what they're doing. But apart from that the only thing I have to say about game development is that it is a choice and that it is a hobby so don't feel like you have to stress yourself by doing it all the time. Just enjoy what you're doing and enjoy making games and also make sure to surround yourself by the community as they're really nice and will do everything to help you and be nice to you. And that is my three year story in game development. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to go and follow me on Twitter to stay updated with all the stuff I do with my game and also make sure to go and subscribe so you're notified every time I post a new video. But thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.